Hi everyone, it's Dean here. Tonight, I'll be having a chat to one of our amazing Camp Quality Mums. She's also been an incredible fundraising supporter and sharing her daughter's cancer journey has been a massive help to families just like hers. Please, can you give a warm welcome to the mum of the millennium, Miss Jessica Kersher. Hi Dean, thank you so much for having me. It's great to see you. Oh, you too, Miss Kersher. Dean, Dean, you can call me Jess. <laughs> oh, are, are you sure? Gosh, my mum would be horrified that I've been so informal. Um, I mean, she made me put on this special bow tie because she heard what an amazing mum you are. Oh, that's very cute of your mum. You do look very great, Dean. Thanks for putting oh, on that oh. bow tie. <laughs> Oh, okay, Jess, uh, thank you. Well, can you uh, tell us a bit about your first experiences with Camp Quality? I can. Look, our first experience with Camp Quality was back in 2009 when my uh, eldest daughter, Jade, was undergoing her chemotherapy at Westmead Children's Hospital. Um, I vividly remember um, Giggle coming in with his head around the door um, and Jane's um, face just lit up. Um, and from then, throughout her um, chemo cycles, Jade was regularly, regularly visited by um, yourself um, and the other puppets um, for some puppet therapy. She also um, was visited by a number of the volunteers um, and giggle on a number of occasions. And it was just fantastic to see her face light up every time you guys came into the room and made um, chemo, which can be quite a, um, you know, a big task, um, seem a little mm. less stressful. Yeah. Oh, that's so lovely to hear. Thanks for sharing that, Jess. Um, so, yeah, I mean, happy. you just mentioned your your daughter, Jade. I mean, she's had such an incredible story. Um, could you tell us a bit more about her cancer journey? Um, so, Jade was diagnosed with hepatoblastoma um, at the age of two, um, back in May 2009. Um, so hepatoblastoma is a cancer of the liver, um, quite rare in children. It was quite a sudden um, diagnosis. She went from hyperventilating um, at daycare. What we thought was, um, you know, just a, you know, condition. When they went to um, put some chest drains in to release fluid off her lungs, that's when our worst nightmare unfolded. Um, so Jade um, was then airlifted with a growth. At the time, we didn't know whether it was cancerous or not. A biopsy had been done. Um, so she was airlifted that evening um, to Westmead Children's Hospital um, where she was incubated and our worst nightmare um, being told that the growth was the size of a grapefruit. Um, and that she would need to undergo chemotherapy, which started several hours after we arrived at Westmead. Um, so after nine rounds of chemotherapy, she was operated on. Um, she did take a turn for the worst at day five um, when she was um, failing to be um, ventilated. Um, so we, we did have to prepare to potentially be airlifted to Melbourne, which thankfully didn't occur. Um, and we, we trialed some new ventilation um, machinery and combinations um, and that seemed to, to work for Jade and she beat the machines. Um, after 11 days in intensive care, um, Jade was admitted to the oncology ward and that's when our relationship with Camp Quality commenced. So um, we're really, oh. really fortunate. Um, Jade and well, our family are, are one of the lucky ones. Jade is still with us today and now a happy, healthy 13-year-old um, in year eight um, here in Canberra and doing really, really well. Um, some minor sort of side effects from the chemotherapy at such a young age, but overall she's with us. Um, so we are incredibly blessed. Yeah, wow, that, that is such an incredible story, Jess. And, and Jade, I mean, she sounds like such a trooper. It's it's really lovely to hear that. And so thank you for sharing it. Jess, do you think I could share something with you as well? Absolutely, of course, Dean. Well, for a long time, I I was too scared to and worried, you know, to talk about my mum's cancer at school. I, I didn't want people to see me embarrassed or upset about, you know, you know, what was going on. But you know what? I. I remember when I first told Kylie about it, I felt so much better. It is, it is hard. And I think 
it took me a long time to start sharing Jade's journey. And I think it comes from the trauma. At the time, I was, I was 21. I was a single mum with Jade at the time. So in a matter of hours, my entire life changed. I guess you're thrown into an environment that is so unknown um, that the trauma of that is, is real and it takes everybody so much time to, I guess, deal with that and everyone deals with it in a different way. I was petrified of sharing the story, a fear of judgment. By now sharing it um, with with the wider community, it's been able to build awareness for, for Camp Quality and, and other organisations and children and families faced by, you know, this unknown journey. Yeah, oh, you're so right. See, yes, you're such a good mum. Oh, my mum's totally giving you thumbs up in the background right now. Um, so could you tell me a little bit about um, how Camp Quality, you know, helped you and, and your family? I mean, you talked about us at the hospitals, but what else was going on? Uh, look, Camp Quality is now like an extended family. And honestly, I guess I talked about the unknown, being in hospital, being a single mum, relocating from Canberra to Sydney to be there to support my daughter as she fought for her life. The minute that <laughs> Giggle popped his head round the door, I instantly felt relief, like there was somebody there that understood and genuinely understood the situation I was in. There's a lot of people that go, oh, you know, I understand, or that must have been really hard. But when, when you're surrounded by people that are actually on the same journey or have traveled that same road as you, that level of understanding is so much different. And having that network of other families faced with the same journey, knowing that you've got that support and people that you can lean on um, outside of all the amazing programs that Camp Quality does. It's really just having that extended family, really, and that's what Camp Quality has become for us. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. I, I'm glad we could be there to give you guys some support and invite you into the Camp Quality Extended Family. Um, I've heard your girls have really loved being on the camps too. Uh, what have been some of their, their favourite memories that they've shared with you? Um, look, when I talk to my girls about what camp means to them, they tell me that it means family, fun, mm -hmm. laughter, adventure and memories. They love camps and their companions. Um, and for us, you know, the girls count down the days to, to going on camp. Um, and I guess for <laughs> Jade, it's, it's been about, um, you know, forming lifelong friendships with other kids of her age that, you know, were going through a journey maybe at a different hospital to her at the same time. Um, and being able to now reflect on those journeys and, and, you know, what that means to them. And, you know, it's a bond that is like no other. Um, for the younger girls, obviously, they've they've gone out on a camp. Um, they love, you know, being away from us um, and, and being <laughs> able to have their independence and, you know, everything that happens on camp stays on camp is what my girls say. Uh, you know, they get to eat lollies and they get to dance and stay up late and, you know, do all the things that, you know, mum and dad say, oh, maybe, maybe next time, maybe this time. Um, so they get spoiled and it's <laughs> all about them. Um, you know, and they love, you know, the dress ups and the themes of all the camps. Um, and I think too, it, it's, it's taught them a lot about um, children and, you know, some of the children will have physical differences. And I know for my um, younger two, it's been really, really nice to see them, um, I guess, be more inclusive and more receptive to that at school as well for kids that might be a little bit different to the ordinary. For my children, that's now normal. Um, and I think that that's really important for us to educate our children and, and to have that inclusion. Yeah, absolutely. And like you said, that awareness too of what, what other people are going through. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And that appreciation and, and empathy and understanding. But for us, the kids absolutely love it. And it's just about laughing, making memories and, and having fun. Yeah, oh, I bet they have a lot yeah. of fun. <laughs> so Jess, I, I heard uh, that you're not only a super mum, but you've also become one of our amazing volunteers and uh, fundraisers as well. Is that right? Yes, I have. I have. So look, I, I probably started, um, yeah, becoming fundraising champion, I think I got called, um, about <laughs> five or six years ago. Yeah, I've helped... Um, with quite a few of the, the giggle balls here in Canberra. 
Um, I try and support the, the superheroes here in Canberra with all of their initiatives and their classic crews and um, escarpade as well. So anything that I can oh, do wow. that helps with um, raising funds and awareness for camp quality so that, you know, anyone else that's faced with, you know, this, this journey and the unknown can receive the same sort of, um, you know, in hospital and, and support that we received when we needed it most. Yeah. And, and tell me, Jess, did you, um, did you get a selfie with Giggle at Giggle Ball? I've had a few selfies with Giggle over the years and, and <laughs> not just selfies. We've had others, professional photographers probably take much nicer photos of us together. Yes. <laughs> look, you've been so generous, Jess. And, and look, it's, it's amazing to hear that now you've been recognized for your amazingness through the Westfield uh, Local Heroes Program. Um, can you tell us a bit more about that? Yeah, look, I'm absolutely humbled to be um, a finalist and to have been nominated um, for my work with Camp Quality. I, I don't feel like I do all that much, um, to be completely honest with you. I think that, you know, Camp Quality is blessed to have so many amazing volunteers that dedicate so much time to ensuring that these children, you know, can have their hospital programs um, so that they can go on camp. So um, I'm absolutely honoured to have been nominated. Westfield's Local Heroes, um, yeah, is just for um, those people in the local community that are, are doing things for the greater good. Um, I am one of four finalists, um, which is really, mm -hmm. really exciting. And I'm, I'm super grateful for everybody's nominations. Um, and look, if, if I am lucky enough to take out one of the top three, um, then that means that Camp Quality will be receiving $10,000. So I'm crossing my fingers that we can pull through and um, yeah, be named as one of the top three. Yeah. Oh, you're such a champion, Jess. And I mean, even though voting has now closed and we've all got our toes, fingers and eyes crossed for you. Well, Jess, I reckon it's uh, time for a bit of fun before we let you uh, go back to being a mum. What do you think? I'm always up for some fun. That's what it's about, okay. right? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Um, why don't we play a game of uh, Would You Rather? Does that sound good? Okay. Sounds great. Okay. Awesome. All right, here we go. Okay, uh, would you rather kiss a frog or hug a snake? Kiss a frog. I'm scared of snakes. <laughs> Fair enough. I would do the same thing too, Jess. Snakes scare yep. me. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. good answer. Um, all right, next one. Uh, would you rather have really small hands or really big feet? I think small hands. Big feet makes finding shoots <gasps> hard to find. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Look, I, I'd go, I think I'd go big feet just because I don't have feet, Jess, and that's that's something I've always wanted. So true, yeah, true. Yeah, I think yeah. I just, yeah, I just have to, I might have to make my own shoes, but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, one more for you, okay? Uh, yeah. Would you rather eat a raw potato or a whole lime? Ooh, I think I'll go a whole lime. Might be refreshing. Yeah? Different, but refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely uh, refreshing. Um, uh, look, I'm, I'm gonna have to say raw potato. I'm sorry, I love potato. It's That's my right. favorite food ever. So yeah, um, I don't know if I'd be still thinking that halfway through the potato, but I'd give it a red hot go. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> lots of water oh, after. Right. Yeah, that's right. Lots of water. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that's it, Jess. Well, look, thank you so much for taking the time out to chat to me today. And um, you're an absolute champion. And we're so grateful for everything you do for Camp Quality. Well, thanks, everybody, for watching at home. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.